Are you hitting other strings while you play the violin? And you're super annoyed. In this video, discover how not to hit other strings and how to practice so you don't hit other strings. Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with adult violinists, returning adults, and violin teachers who want to develop impeccable technique and play with gorgeous tone. So let's get started. <laughs> the most annoying thing is when you're playing a piece and you hear that you hit another string. You may be practicing and you constantly hear you're hitting other strings. So first things first, when you hit another string, if you're not performing, stop and discover what's going on. When you hit another string, it's actually kind of late in the game. You need to actually practice every single day not to hit other strings because it's not going to stop if you don't work it out. So you're going to continue to hit other strings. I would suggest a five minute daily warm up on open strings, long hold bows, frog to tip. It worked for Aaron Rezond. I bet it'll work for you. <laughs> so while you're playing this, just think about your bow arm level. Okay, so I'll take it on the D string first. Frog to tip, making sure you're nice and relaxed. This is one of the biggest things. If you have any tension in your bow arm, it's going to affect your tone and also may cause you to hit other strings. So we're gonna start here at the frog. Go all the way to the tip and watch yourself in the mirror or in a video that you can see if you're playing with straight bows, okay? And keep your bow arm on that level or that plane of the D string. Five minute open strings, frog to tip. Watching that your bow is going nice and straight. And that your arm follows with what you need to do to have a straight bow, okay? So we're not going to go out this way if your elbow is coming out too far behind you or if your hand is coming out too far in front of you, that's gonna cause those crooked bows. So first thing, just make sure you're able to bow straight. I have a video you can check out, how to bow straight bows. And then, uh, then you're ready to just analyze that you are not wiggling this arm or getting it outside of the plane. Because if we get outside of the plane of playing on D or whatever string it is, then you're gonna to start to hit other strings. So if you start, you find that you go too high, you're gonna hit the G string. If you find that you're going too low, you're gonna hit the A string. And this happens while you're playing <laughs> on that specific string. So the long hobos helps you to get to know how that plane feels in every part of the bow. You can even stop and do thirds. One third, two third, three thirds, the, the last final third there. Now you may find that the tip is when you start hitting other strings because you're not maintaining the plane. Okay, so it's really important to maintain the plane so you don't hit other strings. I practice this on every single string. And then the next step is to practice just going from frog to tip with a nice straight bow. So this is also allowing you to maintain the plane and stay where you need to be um, in order to not hit other strings. In your pieces, when you find that you're hitting another string, stop and mark it in the music and isolate exactly where it happened. You will not ever stop hitting other strings if you don't work it out. Turn your ears on while you're playing. If you hit another string, absolutely stop. The more you hit other strings and you just kind of like tune it out, the worse this is gonna get. <laughs> so turn your ears on like alarms when they hear that you hit another string. Stop and write in the music with parentheses exactly where it happened so you can work it out. You may find that it was when you were crossing to another string or you're preparing or you're doing something weird with your arm a little too early or a little too late and that's why you hit the other string. But you will only know if you stop and isolate. Have fun analyzing your beautiful straight bows that are not hitting other strings and listening in your practice sessions that you don't hit other strings. And if you do, mark it in your music and work it out. Happy practicing.